Cussex and the patron of the Invictus Games, which are coming to Vancouver and Whistler in February, and alongside Wendy, uh, who is competing for Canada at those games. First of all, is this is this your first, is both of your first Grey Cup experiences, and what are you looking forward to most? Uh, first Grey Cup, yeah. What are we looking forward to? The game getting started. Let's go. Hey, we went on for five hours. Tell me about it. Is this your first win as well? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I grew up in Regina. It's my first. So yeah, who, absolutely. Who, who are we rooting for today? No, no rooting interest? <laughs> I got, I got my back. favorite. I'm going to keep it to me. For those who don't know what Invictus is, tell us what it is and what it means to you. Okay, what it is, well, it's our 10-year anniversary this year, which is pretty exciting. The Invictus movement started back in 2014. It's a sporting platform used for the rehabilitation and uh, support for wounded soldiers, both serving and veterans. Hi, guys. <laughs> um, and we've now got 25 nations growing all the time. And it's really an opportunity for the individuals themselves and their families to heal and rehabilitate through sport. And when you were a medical officer and mechanic in the Navy, suffered PTSD after 50 15 years. What has Invictus meant to you as an athlete? Well, as you know, PTSD is a illness that destroys connections, that interrupts some of your closest relationships in life. Mm -hmm. And ultimately, I think it really affected the relationship with myself. So the Invictus creates this um, safe bubble, maybe a safe incubator, right? For all of us to relearn some of these connections, to reform these new boundaries, and then ultimately to show up for each other so that we can restart the repair and recover recovery of ourselves. Amazing. Now one of the events you're competing in is rugby. You're in, in multiple sports. I know Harry played a lot of rugby. So you know your skill set better than anyone, okay? If you had to translate rugby to the CFL, would you make a better quarterback, receiver, running back, maybe a middle linebacker? What would you be? But this is this is wheelchair rugby. And yes. it's it's, uh, it's conveniently called uh, murder ball. <laughs> I so know, it when is it comes crazy. to positions, I, I wouldn't be able to tell you which position is better. No, but you were rugby when you played your rugby. Oh, I played rugby. I was uh, fly half and scrum half. <laughs> Well, All so, that time ago. So if you translated it to Canadian football, what do you think you'd be? What was your best I skill? I, I think quarterback is a cool place to be. Quarterback, all right, running the show, exactly. And winter sports for the first time in Invictus. A Whistler who did such a great job of the 2010 Olympics, and you're doing what, skeleton and That's biathlon? Right. That's right. You looking forward to those? Absolutely. It's thrilling. Absolutely thrilling. Listen, thank you so much for coming. I guess it, as a role of Prince, you're not allowed to be partisan. Do you, can you make a prediction for today's game or no? Do you have to stay neutral? I'm not going to make a prediction for today. I know you will. This, this time in less than three months, we'll be back here for the opening ceremony in February. So that's what we're really excited about. But can't, can't wait for it. Both your first great cups. Enjoy them both today. And thank you so much for dropping by. Thank you, thank you very much, James. Prince Harry and Wen, we're going to see her competing in four different sports in the Invictus Games on TSN coming away February 8th to 16th from Vancouver and Whistler.